Hello everyone, welcome to Root to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve an interesting algebraic problem. So the given question is number of real solution of the equation 16x to the power 200 plus 1 multiplied with y to the power 200 plus 1 equals to 16xy whole to the power 100. So we are asked to find the number of solution of the given equation. So without any delay, let's start the solution. So we have one and only equation that is 16x to the power 200 plus 1 multiplied with y to the power 200 plus 1 equals to 16xy whole to the power 100. So in the next step, we can write the equation as 4 to the power x to the power 100 whole square plus 1 multiplied with similarly y to the power 200 can be written as y to the power 100 whole to the power 2 plus 1 equals to 16 can be written as 4 square x to the power 100 multiplied with y to the power 100. Now let's take u equals to 4 multiplied with x to the power 100 and v equals to y to the power 100. So let's just put the value of u v here. So we have u square plus 1 multiplied with v square plus 1 equals to 4 u and v. So in the next step we will multiply the each term in the left hand side. So we have u square v square plus u square plus v square plus 1 equals to 4 u v. Now we have u square v square plus u square plus v square plus 1. Let's just take this 4 u v from right hand side to the left hand side. So this become minus 4 u v equals to 0. In the next step, we are going to split this minus 4 uv as minus 2 uv and minus 2 uv. So we can write this as u square v square plus 1 minus 2 uv plus u square plus v square minus 2 uv equals to 0. So in this step, I just split this minus 4 uv as minus 2 uv and minus 2 uv. So here you can see that you can apply an algebraic identity that is a minus b whole square by taking a as uv and b as 1. So this can be written as uv minus 1 whole square plus similarly here we'll apply same algebraic identity that is a minus v whole square by assuming a as u and b as v so we have u minus v whole square equals to zero so here you can see that so now since we have already given x and y are real numbers this implies this u and v are real numbers so sum of square of two real numbers is equals to zero only when the each number is equals to zero so let's just equate the each number to zero so we have uv minus 1 whole square equals to 0 and u minus v whole square equals to 0. This implies this uv minus 1 equals to 0, uv equals to 1. Similarly, we have u minus v equals to 0 and u equals to V. So we have u v equals to 1. Let's take it equation A and u equals to V. Let's take it equation B. Now putting the value of V in equation A, we have u multiplied with u equals to 1. This implies is u square equals to 1. So we have taken u equals to 4x to the power 100 and v equals to y to the power 100. So let's just put the value here. So we have 4x to the power 100 whole square equals to 1. 
सो दिस इज इक्वल इन टू सिक्सटीन एक्स टू दावर टू हंड्रेड इक्वल्स टू वन दिस इम्प्लाइज एक्स टू दावर टू हंड्रेड इक्वल्स टू वन बाय सिक्सटीन सो दिस वन बाय सिक्सटीन कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन बाय टू टू दावर फोर ओके सो एक्स इक्वल्स टू वन बाय टू टू दावर फोर होल्ड टू दावर वन बाय टू हंड्रेड This is equals to plus or minus one by root fifty under two. So we have value of x is plus or minus root fifty under two. So again from equation A, putting the value of u as v, u equals to v. So we have v multiplied with v equals to one. So we have v square equals to one. So we have taken v equals to y to the power hundred. So this become y to the power two hundred equals to one. So we have y equals to plus or minus one. Thus our solution for x and y is equals to plus or minus one by root fifty under two and plus or minus one. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more such interesting questions thank you